Does the fabled maxim hold that behind every great man there resides a great lady? In this case, wife, mother, and Mrs. Magna Tech herself, <laughs> Kathleen Whitaker proves that it does. A woman as devoted to her family as she is kind to Negro. <laughs> Let me see that. What on earth is that woman thinking? Come on. Kathy? Oh, she's been liberal ever since she played summer stock at college with all those steamy Jewish boys. Why do you think they used to call her red? Oh, for heaven's sake, let's go inside before Joe McCarthy comes driving by. Uh oh. Oh. Uh -oh. I love that scar. Oh, I'm sure it just flew behind the house somewhere. I haven't seen. This really isn't your day, is it? Oh. Do they really call you red? Oh, Nancy, honestly. <laughs> Would anyone like another daiquiri? <laughs> Better not. <laughs> oh, no, one's my limit. L? <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, girls, no more beating around the bush. Nancy. Oh, I, I can't. Oh, come on, can't be that bad. Um, well, uh, Mike insists on... <laughs> he insists on once a week. Aw, oh, you got off easy. <laughs> once a week? Oh, you're lucky. Ron's more like two or three. Three, really? And how? That's nothing. Girlfriend of mine, Shirley Dawson. Her husband? every night of the week plus <laughs> three more times on the weekend <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> Lovely, Kathleen. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye girls. The chicken wants divine. Oh, thanks, Anne. I'll call you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye. This possibly? Oh, I'm sorry. No, you found it. Yeah, I uh, found it hanging off one of the birches out back. It was so windy. I, I was going back into the house and it just sailed off my neck. Well, I had a feeling it might be yours. Now, who else could have been so absent-minded? No, no, it's the color. It just seemed right. Well, thank you, Mr. Deegan, for finding it. Please, call me Raymond. Thank you, Raymond. Everything looks wonderful, by the way. Good. I think we got everything pretty much under control. It can't have been easy, taking over for your father so quickly. Well, between Pop's business, my uh, shop, and taking care of my little girl, doesn't leave much time for reflecting. I didn't know you had children. Oh, just the one. Sarah's her name. Oh, and how old is Sarah? Eleven. Oh, I'm sure she's a lovely child. You and your wife must be very proud. Oh, uh, Mrs. Deegan, my wife. Uh, Passed away when Sarah was about five. Oh, Raymond, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Sarah and I, we do just fine. You know, I got a picture of her somewhere. There she is. That's my Sarah. Oh, oh, she's darling. Look at those eyes. <laughs> and what's this I hear about a shop? Oh, yeah, the plant shop. It's just a little place down on Hawthorne. Started out as a service for gardeners. Until I opened the store about six years ago, and, uh, well, it's the only thing that business degree's been good for yet. <laughs> Why, that's marvelous, Raymond. You should be very proud. Well, well I am. Uh, if you're ever in the neighborhood, be sure to stop by. I certainly will. All right, then. Thank you. You're welcome. 